Talking to Jim Talking to guys, welcome back, welcome back. You already know it's Jim Talk. Cause it was lag day actually. Um, I just wanted to get something off my chest, like always. Um, so I know this New Year's is coming up, you know, and everybody, I know everybody is saying that I'm gonna start my fitness journey this year. I'm gonna start working out this year. I'm gonna start improving my health this year. Um. My, I just want to give a advice that don't wait till the new year hit to start. You know, start now. You know, don't don't procrastinate and wait for the new for um, January first to hit the gym. You know, start going now. You know, start going now. Like before the new year start. I want you to go to the gym before the new year start. I want you to start working out before the new year start. You know, don't pro, don't wait. Don't wait till it's a, it's a new day for you to start working out. You know, if you know that, all right, you want to start your fitness journey, don't say, okay, I'm going to wait till January 1st or January 2nd to start working out. You know, and I only have a few advice to give to people that want to start their fitness journey. I'm giving you the juice early, you know. One thing I'm going to say is that don't depend on your friends to work out. You know, just go to the sign up to the gym. Don't if you depend on your friend for a membership because your friend paid what forty dollars and they could bring somebody in. No, get your own membership. You know, get your own membership because that shows that you paying for it. That means you gotta go. Because if you pay for something, you gotta go or you wasting your money. You know, don't depend on your friends to go to the gym. You know, if you wanna go to your if you wanna go with your friend, that's fine. Get your own membership and go. Some days, you know, you want to go with your friend and he might not. He say he's going and then you're already just waiting for him. And then later on he hit you up talking about, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it. You know, then you just you just lost your whole motivation. So you're going to go back to sleep and do nothing. You know, so the first thing I'm going to say is get your own membership and don't depend on your friend. If you want a gym buddy, you go to the gym and find gym buddy. The best place to find somebody to motivate you is in the gym. You know, it's in the gym and it's easy to make friends in the gym, just like that. Um, the second one I'm gonna say is um, your phone, bro. Your phone. Like, don't just, you go into the gym for an hour, you know. You don't need to be scrolling on Instagram, you don't need to be scrolling on TikTok, you don't need to be scrolling on YouTube, unless you're watching, you know, you're watching somebody's workout, you know, you will watch my workout. You know, just put your music, put your music on and put your phone in your bag and close your bag. You know, like if you need to use your phone to look for your workout, go ahead, do it. But don't be on your phone texting and everything. You know, just that one hour is for you, it's for yourself. So stop wasting your time. If you know you're about to come to the gym, do one set and then go on your phone and then wait and then wait and then wait and then go back. No, you're wasting your time, bro. You know, take that rest time to really rest and then push through it. You know, so stop wasting your time on your phone, man. Stop being on your phone 24-7. I'm the type of dude that I hate when I'm trying to use a machine and you over there sitting down on your phone, bro. That really pissed me off. You know, if you're in the gym, it's gym time. It's like if you if you if you are school, it's school time. You know, when you're taking a test in school, you, you cannot bring your phone. You cannot use your phone during the test. So when you're in the gym, it should be test time. It should be game time. You know, you, you got to be focused. Like, focus. And number three is that you got to watch what you eat. You know, you got to know what you want. First of all, you got to know what you're working for. You got to know your goal. And then you got to do your own research and see what you need to do. You know, like everybody body is different. I keep repeating it. When, when you, whenever you watch my video, I tell you everybody body is different. You know, but you just gotta learn. Like I post my workout, yeah, I post my workout, but my eating is different. You know, the way I work out is different. You know, you're supposed to look, look, and do your research so it can help you. You have to do your research. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you unless you wanna hire a, a, a personal trainer. You know, make sure you know, you make sure you do your research, make sure you know, okay, uh, am I fat? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to lose. Okay, I need to do cardio. I need to do abs. I need to watch what I eat. So just do your own research. You know, do your own research. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is be consistent, bro. Be consistent. You cannot go one day out of the week 
and then wait two weeks after and go. No, you have to be consistent. If you're gonna go every other day, that's fine. If you're gonna go three times a day, that's fine. But you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent, bro. Consistency is what it is. Even the days you don't feel like going, that's when you should go. Even the days that you feel like not going, that's the day you go. Just put on some headphones and go do some cardio, do some abs, do something. You know, every little thing counts when it comes to fitness or when it comes to working out. You know, you don't feel like coming to the gym. That's fine. Do some 10 push-up, 20 push-up, 20 squats. Do some ab workout, 20 minutes, 10 minutes workout. You know, I have some, like, 10 minutes workout you could do at home. Um, just just be consistent, bro. Be consistent. That's why you don't, you, don't, you don't see the improvement. But you have to be consistent. And I know you're just starting, and I don't want to scare you, but being consistent is what it is, bro. You cannot take... You cannot come in one week and take two weeks off and then expect you to feel the same. No. You have to be consistent. Consistency, 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 consistency. I know I'm from Blade, you can hear my accent. But you have to be consistent, bro. You have to be. It's mandatory to be consistent. You know, yes, it's hard, but once you know what you want, bro, once you know what you want, you, got, you just gotta go for it. You know? Like it, it really, it really comes down to how bad you want it. Like how bad you want to look good. How bad do you want to work out? How bad do you want to change? You know, you just gotta be consistent. You know, yes, it's hard. Yes, it's not easy. Sometimes you don't see your 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 improvement, your motivate. Like you don't you don't get motivated because you're not seeing improvement. That's fine, bro. It takes six months to see improvement. So trust the process and just show up. Keep going. Even if you don't see the improvement, trust me. You know, once you are able to go to the gym without even thinking, and, like, the goal is for you to become a gym head. So, like, it's going to come in, in your journey, right? I promise you. It's going to come to a time that, a time that, like, when you don't go to the gym, you feel some type of way. Like, when you don't go to the gym, your body is, is like, itching for it. You know, your body is calling for it. So, guys, I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to leave you guys here today. Just make sure you subscribe, like, and share. It's Gym Talk or No Talk Part 2.